to ask John Paul to read what the jury said about Brian. Oh, nothing but good. Absolutely. Very official. Brian May, one of the most recognizable and influential guitar players in the history of pop and rock music in the last 40 years. <laughs> Nearly everyone in the world will know one or more of its famous guitar solos. Remember the sheer power in the anthem We Will Rock You, a song that Mr. May wrote. Or the smart build-up of harmonics in Queen's first big hit in the Netherlands, Killer Queen. Killer Queen. And of course the screaming high notes of maybe one of the best known guitar solos and songs of all time, Bohemian Rhapsody. With his band Queen and his bandmate John Deacon, Roger Taylor and Freddie Mercury, he rose to the absolute top of the world and after the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, The Who and Led Zeppelin, there was Queen in the mid-70s. They took over the flame of great classic English pop and rock music and sold more than 300 million albums yeah. worldwide. As a guitar player, Brian May inspired thousands of young guitarists all over the world. Big stars of today like Dave Grohl of Foo Fighters and Matthew Bellamy of Muse named this, the guitar playing of Brian May as their biggest influence. He built his Red Special, the name of his beautiful guitar with his father at a young age. And with that famous instrument he ended up having the most recognizable guitar sound in music today. But Marcel May is also a prolific songwriter. This is the man who wrote famous hits like The Show Must Go On, Now I'm Here, Save Me, Hammer to Fall, Who Wants to Live Forever, Fat Bottom Girls, yeah. I Want It All, and already named We Will Rock You. Oh yeah, and I nearly forgot to tell all of you that since May 14, 2008, it's not only Mr. May. After he finished his study on astrophysics and earned his degree, it's also Dr. May. Brian told me a few months ago in London that he worked very hard to get his PhD. But that's his second nature. He was the perfectionist in Queen and kept that high level of perfection, working on solo material and of course the very successful Queen musical We Will Rock You. This evening he gets another big prize. Because we, the jury of the Eddie Christiani Award, are very proud to welcome the winner of the Eddie Christiani Award 2011, Brian May. that uh, Jean-Paul just read for you, so I'm just going to say uh, one of the words um, about uh, Sir Brian over here. Um, for me personally, he's been a huge influence, and I told him earlier during dinner that I remember exactly where I was when I heard um, Brian's solo for Killer Queen for the first time, and it really influenced me a lot up to this day. So it's a privilege to be on the same stage as Brian and to give him the award the Eddie Christiani yeah. Award. Yeah! <laughs> Brian, anything you'd like to say? for words. Um, ever since I've been here today, people have been saying very nice things about me, and um, I feel very honoured. Um, I'm actually not used to being honoured in this way individually, and it means a lot to me, um, especially as it comes primarily from my peers, and these are all people who I respect a huge amount. Thank you for that. Thank you. 
great belief that music is the is is the great unifying force of the world yeah. and um, and for that reason music to me has always been worthwhile for its own sake music of course can do all, all sorts of other things as well it can make you jolly for a while it, it can sometimes make a point you know sometimes it can raise money for a great cause but music 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 to me is central to life Mm. And if you connect via music as we have done, um, in my mind it makes you less likely to want to mistreat anyone or to declare war on anyone or to abuse children or to abuse animals or to abuse anyone. means a lot to me to be part of it still after all these years. And guitar playing, well this is very interesting because this is not a just a guitar player's award, this is an award for electric guitar players. And that's something quite significant. Um, Eddie Cristiani was the first in Europe to play an electric guitar, a very significant thing, and this whole award is in his honour. Um, to me it changed my life, and I think it changed a lot of our lives because Somehow when the guitar became electric and was turned up and up and up until it became a different animal, a different instrument, the guitar became a voice. And the voice for all of us, uh, all my co-winners and myself, the, the guitar is a voice by which we express ourselves. And um, I don't seriously think that I'm incredibly clever or incredible. You know, I'm not a virtuoso of a guitar. All that I would claim to do is to to use my guitar as a voice for the things that I feel. That's my aim in life. And I don't think I'm better than anyone else. I, yes, I just you yes, you are. Yes, you are. All I wanted to say is thank you. Oh, I have to say one other thing. Um, so, am I going on too long? No! 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 You, you probably, all of you know that Queen has a very special relationship with Holland, and always has from the very beginning. I want to thank you guys for being so supportive, so understanding, so empathetic to everything we've done. Thank you for being here today. It means an incredible amount to me that you all turned out in such a way. Thank you, Ryan! Okay, I'll try and be worthy of this award. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming. This is Brian May. Okay. Ah, boy. Welcome to the It is Brian. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here in this little theater. It's time to celebrate the music, it's time to celebrate Queen, Queen's music, it's time.